Oh, I've been waiting for this for a long time. Fifteen years spent training for this moment. That's great. Before you commence with the stabbing, though, I have some questions. Who are you? Why do you want to kill me? And what did I do to you? You know what you did. No, I really don't. I can think of a few things. No one asked you. What? Damn it. No, I wasn't talking to you. I, I mean, please, I've done nothing. Well... So killing my grandfather was nothing? Was he nothing to you? What? I never killed I. Uh, oh. Um... Who was your grandfather exactly? He was just a wandering traitor who tried to help you! Oh boy. Well, how do you know I killed him? It could have been bandits, or creepers, or an over-enthusiastic cow. He told me everything about you. Oh, this'll be fun. The demons in your head? Check. How you left him stranded on an island? Double check. And that if he didn't help you, you'd go insane and destroy the world? Big ol' check. His description of you matched the stories of that hideous monster who lived in the haunted cube. Oh, for the love. <laughs> I thought you were dead. Well, technically. Then suddenly I hear about a similar looking man burning down villages all over the world. I tried tracking him down, but his movements were too random. I decided to head to the old cube just to check. And who should I find along the way but you? You expect me to believe that's a coincidence? Yes. Cool. Stabbing time. Ah, wait, 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 wait. Don't I at least get to know my killer's name? Fine. Alex. Okay, Alex. I know what it looks like, but I'm not that guy. I didn't kill your grandfather. Feel free to explain. I'll practice my stabbing. Well, um, he is, in fact, my evil twin? Really? You're about to die and that's the best you can come up with? You've got to admit, even for the truth, that sounds pretty lazy. Yeah, but it's true. Yeah, well, truth is, I'm stabbing you now. Withy, a little help here. Ugh, fine. <clears throat> Hello. What the friggity frack? Yeah, so there's a bit of truth to the stories. You have a demon in your head? Uh, yeah. I call him Withy. The Wither. Wait, the Wither Wither? See, she gets it. You can call him Withy, he doesn't mind. How dare you? You have the Wither in your head. Not on purpose, trust me. Well, that's rude. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! I love you! What? Now listen here, dragon! Excuse me? <sighs> my supreme scaly empress. Better. With more feeling next time, and maybe throw the word beautiful in there. Regretting my decision more and more. Hey, being in your head isn't exactly a vacation for me either, lesser Steve. Stop calling me that! I will when it stops being true. Anyway... We've been walking for days now. How much further is this place we're going? Well, we'd be there by now if your giant metal puppy wasn't running around killing every animal in sight. I'm not killing them. We're playing tag. It's either take a break and let him play every few hours or have him whining the whole way. Why are you keeping the walking lightning rod around again? Well, I would melt him down, but he's surprisingly effective at inadvertent killing. Tag, you're... Aww. I squished it did another sheepy weepy. Who else wants to play? <laughs> <sighs> Fine, but just a few more minutes. Ron, start wrapping it up! We've got a world to destroy and we're not gonna do it one sheep at a time! Aw, oh, man! Now, tell me where we're going. I had my followers hide something for me. We're going to collect it. And what will this thing do exactly? It should give whatever stupid thing you create next the power you're looking for. Why didn't you bring this up earlier instead of sending me out for all those other worthless items? Because I was saving it for a special occasion! Really? What? It's mine! I'm allowed to have things! You don't own me! Tag, you're- Oh, I did it again. Stop tagging them with your feet! Can we please get going? Okay, Ron, time to go! But I don't wanna! Ron! No! You get over here right now, young man! Fine. Great, now he's gonna pout the rest of the way. I am not. You're pouting. Stop or I'm taking this caravan home. You can't make me. You're not my real dad. Of course I'm not. I made you in a lab. Rub it in, why don't you? <laughs> wow. Now that was evil. Even for me. <sighs> Fine. Let's calm him down before he rusts himself. 
And then when you destroyed that village because they sacrificed a non-virgin to you? Oh, that was great. <laughs> yeah. You know, I didn't have to do that. I don't actually need a sacrifice at all. I just thought I'd better make an example of them. Couldn't have people thinking I was going soft. Well, yeah, of course. Although that did kind of cut down on the number of my followers. It's okay, you didn't need those wannabes. Oh, what about when you ate the Pegasus? That was hilarious. Yes, eating an animal to extinction, always a hoot. Do you want to know what they taste like? Oh gosh, yes! Rainbows. Really? I can just imagine that. Which you'll have to, considering rainbows don't have a taste. Oh, they do. I bet they do. Uh, of course they do. So why haven't I seen you before? You should have joined my followers. Oh, I did, but your one remaining follower was a bit... Mm, bitey. <laughs> that sounds like Barbara. I think she might also be rabid. Probably. Can we back up a second? What? what? Okay, there's that. Why exactly are you so buddy-buddy with an actual demon who has killed hundreds of... Thousands. Does it matter? If you're going to praise me for my accomplishments, at least get them right. I wasn't praising. Sounded like praise to me. Why exactly are you so buddy-buddy with an actual demon who has killed thousands... Thank you. You're welcome. Thousands of people when you were ready to stab me because I inadvertently killed one. My grandfather. Yes, and I'm very sorry for that. But as Withy and I explained, I wasn't in control. Oh, I got it. But the sword was in your hand. And after we finally kill this... Hero. Hero. You'll get yours. Looking forward to it. But that doesn't explain your fascination with Withy. After my grandpa died... I searched for any possible way to bring him back to life. I found a book that talked about the Wither, a supernatural being with the ability to bring people back from the dead. I don't like to brag, but yeah. I began to worship you, hoping that if I were a good follower, you would resurrect him for me. I guess you could say I became a bit obsessed. Oh, there's no such thing as too obsessed with me. Great, we found the one person who loves Withy as much as he does. Hate to put a pin into whatever the hell this is, but we're here. Ugh. <sighs> Good lord, it's so much worse than I imagined. <laughs> this one's a keeper. Not an architect! Look at it. It's all broken and decayed. You are the house. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you both so much. So this is where we're going to set up? Why not? Extreme embarrassment by association. That's a valid point. You'll live. But what kind of life? And technically I'm not alive, so... Oh, come on. It's already built. Plus, I have a hidden stash of equipment here. Upside, with those stories I spread, no one should bother us here. Good point. If you think it'll make a good base of operations, then I'm on board, Mr. The Wither, sir. Oh, good lord. Please, call me Withy. Really? All right, Withy. Really? What? I allow those that I like, and you, to call me Withy. Everyone else can call me the Wither, Emperor of Darkness, the Three-Headed Horror, the Creature from the Black Lagoon. Don't you mean Lagoon? No. Ghost of the Nether, Breaker of the World, Scourge of the Pegasus, or Mr. Skeleton Head. You forgot Tamer of the Dragon. I did. Uh-huh. Didn't you say you had some equipment here? Yep, I hid some stuff down here. Oh, clever. Well, thank you. I assume Withy came up with the idea. It does sound like me, doesn't it? It sure does. It wasn't like I did this while you and Indy were sleeping and slowly driving me insane. Now that sounds like me. Holy crap. Weapons, armor, tools, materials? Perhaps you're not completely worthless. Thank you? Ooh, diamonds! I feel so fancy! Really? Yeah, don't read too much into it. Now I'm just going to be stabbing you with a diamond sword. Oh yay, it'll be a fancy death! Come on, Stabby McStab, grab some tools. We've got some rebuilding to do. Are we there yet? I hope so. I'm freezing my tuckets off! You didn't tell me I needed to dress in layers. Sorry, I wasn't aware I was traveling with a baby who needed a jack at the moment it got a little nippy. Nippy? It's below freezing! The only thing nippy about it is that my nipples are about to fall off! I was kind of hoping you'd lose a few limbs to frostbite, but nipples will do. If I do, I'm taking away part of your share of the planet. 10% per nipple! Oh, we can just change our deal like that, huh? I wasn't aware. Well, we can, so you better keep yourself in line. Good to know. Hey! I see a thingy in the thingy! A building, a building in the distance? Uh, I meant a goat on the mountain. But now that you mention it, I do see a thingy in a thingy. That's it. Finally, Finally stupid, stupid dragon. dragon! I thought you were going to kill us on this journey. For that snide comment, I now get 60% of the world when we take it over. What? That wasn't the deal. I am altering the deal. Pray I don't alter it further. 
No, you cannot just alter the deal on a whim. Going back on your word, now I get 70%. Yeah, stupid dragon calling me out on a freaking Keep it up! I'm gonna own 100% by lunch at this rate. I really need to look at the terms of this deal. It might be best if you two let me do the talking. Could I stop you if I tried? Only if you kill yourself, Lesser Steve. Uh, you're back down to 60%. Worth it. Ron, you should probably stay here. Why? Are you embarrassed by me? Do I shame you? Yes. Good call. I'm gonna go back and say hi to that goat. Hey, goat! He's gonna kill that goat. Yeah. Now remember, just let me do the talk. All to go there. Bow down and swear fealty to our scaly empress, for she speweth the flames of life upon us all. <laughs> really? The flames of life? You dare speak out against our empress, filthy heathen? Told you to let me talk. You gonna help? Nope. You know, those flames burn people alive. There's nothing of life about them. Those flames cleanse the non-believers of their flesh prisons. Of course they do. He's not wrong. If you do not bow down and beg for forgiveness at once, I will be forced to fill you with her flames in the form of my arrows. I've already had to fill in some holes this week, so I'll pass, Lemming. Assistance, please, dragon, or I'm docking you 10%. <sighs> Fine. Halt, minion. My, my scaly empress, is it really you? Yeah, it's me. Are you sure? How do I know this isn't some imposter trick? Please stop talking, whatever your name is. It is you! We thought you lost or perhaps still locked in throes of passion. Yeah, no, just mildly inconvenienced. As I can see, trapped inside yet another hideous human creature. Oh, come on! He is hideous, isn't he? Back to 50%. Still worth it, but that's okay. This shell and I have come to an agreement and I need access to the cube. The cube? M -m Lady, are you sure? You said the evil within it should never be released again from the sake of the world. Do you question me? No, no, my empress. We shall grant you access immediately. Good. Now throw yourself off a cliff for your insolence. Of, of course, my empress. Right, right away. Holy crap. I run a tight ship around here. Can't have people questioning me. Sometimes I just make them do it to prove their loyalty. Impressive. Boss, I killed it the goat. My ship has leaks. But if this cube is as powerful as he said, things should finally go my way. Oh, it is. I hoped to never release this evil again, but what must be done must be done. It's in the box there. Oh, you have some impressive stuff in here. Don't go getting handsy. We're only here for the cube. The rest is still mine. Fine. Ooh, here it is. And you're sure this will help me create the greatest evil in the universe? Yep. Never mind! It's not dead! Just horribly wounded! I'm bringing him home! I said no pets! He's not a pet! He's part of the family! Your ship is at the bottom of the ocean. Uh, how much longer is this gonna take? <sighs> We've got a lot to do before we're gonna be ready. This is always the worst part. Uh, there, another tree down. Alex, how many have you done? I'm counting this one? Sure. None. What? I'm working my ass off over here. What have you been doing? Stabbing practice. Can't be too prepared. She's not wrong. We told you, stabbing doesn't work on Hero. I have to reabsorb him. I know. I'm planning on stabbing you after you slurp him up or whatever. Huh. Will stabbing you still work after that? Uh, no. Probably. Whose side are you on, Withy? Uh... All it takes is some light ego stroking and you turn your back on me? Yep. Sounds about right. Keep in mind, Alex, you kill me, you kill Withy. Aw, Withy, couldn't you just transfer over to me instead? I don't have enough power. <sighs> Fine, what do you need me for? You could put that stab into work and go hunt us some food. That I can do. Gonna go stabbing me some animals, animals, gonna go stabbing me some animals to eat. Okay, I know we need all the help we can get, but at this point, I'd rather just let Barbara help and deal with the biting. What's wrong with Alex? Well, she wants to kill me. And? And I kind of thought the murderous intent was enough to sell my point. If you remember, most of us wanted you dead when we first met you. I kind of assumed that was a common thing for you. It's not, but you have a point. <sighs> you know, she does worship you. Couldn't you maybe tell her to just not kill me? That really doesn't sound like me. Now, doesn't that look better? No. no. What's wrong with it? Size. Shape. Consistency. 
What? The physical realm is so uncomfortable. You should really look into more ethereal materials. Uh-huh. Well, we've got a base now, Withy. What's next? We're gonna need some potions and enchantments. Then, we need to track down Hero. Uh, I never was the best potion maker. And tracking Hero has been pretty difficult. Don't worry. I have an expert in both of those fields. Who the hell? Hello, hello, hello. Ah! Barbara, thanks for coming. I burnt my forest down. Called it. You! Me! What about me? Oh, hello. Who are you? You don't remember me? You bit me! You're gonna have to be more specific. I want that piece of my shoulder back. Who? You're that stringy girl. Willie, why do you only attract the stringy ones? I'm not stringy. I haven't gotten a sample yet. Come here! Ah, Withy! She's getting bitey again! Get the ah! Get away, get away! Yeah! <laughs> get him! Get Withy! him! Withy, help me! <laughs> oh, this must be what it's like to Get away! <laughs> Is it gonna hurt? Can you even feel pain? Only emotionally. Oh, then, most definitely, extreme hurt. Okay, then. Glad to help. Cut me open, Doc. We, we don't, don't have, have to, to cut, cut you open. open. I just open your chest panel. panel. But you told me to stop doing that. Because, because you, you kept, kept putting, putting dirt, dirt in there. I was trying to grow flowers. Now what, what do, do I do, do with, with this? this? Just put it in his chest and it should do the trick. Uh, just stand back. I, I don't know what's gonna happen afterwards. Okay. Ron, are you, are you ready, ready to become, become the most evil weapon, weapon in the universe? universe? Sure as you doodle. Uh-huh. Well, hold still. Here we go. Ah! What the hell? <laughs> it tickles. Did it? Did it work? Huh. There are other people in here with me, and it's not the squirrel. What? Howdy. Howdy! Howdy. Where are we? A shindig? A hootenanny? Woo! They're fishies! Well, howdy, big guy! Ooh, is that Hero? Hey there, silly boy, how you been? What? That box was supposed to contain the greatest evil known to the universe! Oh, it does. Spend a day with them. You'll see. Indy, that you? I just knew you couldn't stay away from me. Y'all want some tea or something? I'd love some. What have I done? You're gonna have to be more specific. I love that, blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna go back and say hi to that goat. Hey, goat! Howdy. Heidi? <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs>